When I was about five or six years old, my dad became the head greenkeeper where I grew up in a little town uh, just south of Stockholm. So that's how I started. And when I was eight, I think we actually got the, he became the, the sort of got up a level to become the head superintendent and got the house that sort of is included on the, in the um, contract with the club. So I actually grew up on the golf course, which is very unusual in Sweden. Here you have a lot of houses on the golf courses, but in Sweden it doesn't, it definitely did not exist back then. Uh, so I had the perfect setting for it. And on top of that, actually, my dad uh, redesigned a hole number five in the home club, which is about 150 yards from, from the house. So we left that green and, and I had somewhere to practice. <laughs>
that's where you want to put myself more often. And, and I think all those experiences helped myself a lot during the Ryder Cup. Uh, and I mean to play, I was very happy with the way I played during the Ryder Cup. Um, so all those sort of things are building, making you a stronger player and a stronger person. So that's... Uh, Well, I don't really look at it as, uh, as important or not important. It's more a, uh, a proof that I've done well this year. And, and uh, if you play well, you have a good chance to be in the team. And if you don't play well, then you're not in. So it's more a sort of a receipt that I've done well this year and, and that things have been working well. So it was very, very uh, satisfying to be in that team. And especially if you've been in one team, it's in the back of your head every time that I would like to experience that again. I mean, it's nothing like it. It's just fantastic. The experience was better than I envisioned. Both times, both 2006 when we won and 2008 now when we were on the losing side. And the losing side you only know when it's, when it's all over. And the experience is lasting over six days. So, I mean, just coming up on the driver range and you hear the singing, both the European and American sort of fans are singing on the first tee. It doesn't happen at Augusta. It doesn't happen at the US Open. So, I mean, it's very different. And, and to just be a part of that is fantastic. And then, obviously, sometimes you, you, you be on the winning side and sometimes on the losing side. But still, the experience to play in front of those fans, both all the support you get and also sometimes when you miss a shot, people are laughing a bit and, and clapping when you miss. It's, it's a totally different experience. And... It's challenging, uh, but it's great as well. I mean, this, those are the things you have to learn. Well, the, the Titleist Golf Ball, the first one I got was actually from my uncle who sponsored me, I think it was 20 dozens when I uh, got into the Swedish national team. I think I was 16 years old. So I think it was sort of 23 years old. Uh, 23 years ago, I started playing Titleist. And since then, I've never, ever played another golf ball.